Hello, hello, and welcome to Dropping It Live, you guys. Uh, let's see, I've got some some interesting stuff to share with you guys. So, um, gosh, I recommend everybody get a blood panel, get a blood test. Uh, I haven't really done it. I don't normally do that every year, but I highly recommend it. If you've not ever had a blood panel done, go get one. Um, it was pretty insightful. So back um, when we first moved to Maui, which was over two years ago, a little over two years ago, um, maybe six months in after that, I started just noticing that I was feeling different. So I was feeling a lot different in the sense of like my energy. My energy level was really, really low, like so low where I actually felt like I had to take a nap in the middle of the day. Um, I would go to bed, like crash out on the couch, like immediately after I put my three kids to bed, I just really noticed a drop in my energy level. And another weird thing that was happening was I was starting to get uh, migraine headaches. I've never had migraines in my life. I've had, you know, occasional headaches here and there, but never before had I experienced that. And it's, it's super debilitating. Like you feel nauseous. I would just lay in bed. I mean, it was terrible and they would kind of come I noticed I started recognizing they'd start to come about every month, right? So I started wondering what was going on. I'm like, what the heck? The other thing was my hair. I noticed that my hair was just really getting thin. I was losing a lot of hair. And I haven't breastfed now for almost um, nearly a year, you know? So I was like, well, my hormone, I feel like everything should be getting back on track and I shouldn't really be losing my hair right now. Um, so I started to have all these little red flags and I was like, okay, I really got to go get a blood test, a panel done so I can actually see what's going on because I was thinking it was my hormone levels and it was, um, partially. So I went and got my test done in, I think it was May or June. Okay. And that was my baseline test. And the results that came back from that showed that I was um, slightly anemic. Um, my cortisol levels were extremely low my thyroid was underactive and my progesterone was really low. So I started, um, I talked with my naturopath and I kind of came up with a little plan on what I was going to do. Um, and I started taking, um, first off her thyroid, it's an, a natural, uh, thyroid tablet. That's, it comes basically from animal. It's, it's an animal thyroid basically. So it's not vegetarian. Um, and then I was like, well, wait a second. Young living makes Thyromin, which is this little supplement right here. I was like, why, why wouldn't I just try this and see if this would work? This too is not vegetarian. It contains animal products. Okay. But it's a blend. It's got, um, iodine in it, which is extremely important for healthy thyroid function. It's got parsley. It's got, um, the pituitary and, uh, adrenal powder that I mentioned from, from animal. Um, it's got L tyrosine, um, it's got a bunch of other stuff, the L-cysteine, the L-cysteine, the um, peppermint oil, it's got um, spearmint, myrtle, and myrrh, okay? So I, myrrh resin in it. So these are capsules. So I started taking these just one in the morning like it actually said, okay? Um, so when I went back and got my test results in June, I retested to see where if my levels had improved. Um, my thyroid hadn't really changed. It didn't really improve. So I have actually upped the dose on this and I'm switching it. So I'm taking one at night and two in the morning because my naturopath said, you really want the thyroid in the morning. This actually recommends taking it at night. So I'm doing one at night, two in the morning, and then I'll go back and have another blood test and fill you guys in on that, on those results. So that's what I just started um, doing was upping that dose, okay? And when they measure your thyroid, they look at three things. The free T3, which is a free hormone uh, or a, a free floating hormone in your blood that has not bound to a protein. That's why they call it free. Um, they look at that. They also look at the T4, which is another hormone um, produced by the thyroid, okay? But those will not tell you if you have a thyroid problem necessarily. Those might be totally normal and within normal range like mine were. So mine was, uh, for T3, it was 3.2, which is in between the range of 2.3 and 4.2. And my T4 was 7.6, which is in the range between 4 and 13.5. Um, but my TSH, and this is basically what um, the pituitary produces to tell the thyroid to produce hormone, um, was really high and you want it to be really low. I know it's backwards. So if it's 
really high, you have an underactive thyroid. And if it's really low, you have an overactive hyperthyroid. Um, mine is hypo, so it's under. My number was 3.4, okay? And the normal range for women is supposed to be 0.5 to 3.0, okay? So you can see I'm, I'm over that. Um, just slightly. So I really want to get that number down and I'm hoping this little sucker will help. But what's interesting is everything is kind of related. So um, interestingly enough, my cortisol levels were really, really low um, and they need to be higher. In the morning, your normal range should be between 8.7 and 22.4. Okay. Mine is 4.5. It was a 4.5 back in May. Totally low, right? And you actually need a, a really delicate balance between your stress hormones and your cortisol levels for proper thyroid function. So it's all kind of, it could be kind of correlated and, and pieced together here. So um, I really want to improve my cortisol levels. So I'm working on that with um, some uh, essential oils, but also mainly with the adrenal support. So I'm, I'm trying to target my adrenals, which produce the cortisol. So I'm going to function on that. Um, and there's a really cool uh, protocol that I'm going to start doing. I haven't done it yet, but it is basically is taking three drops of clove oil, three drops of nutmeg oil, and seven drops of rosemary essential oil, all Young Living oils. You'll mix that with a little carrier oil and you rub it right over the adrenal glands, which are located just above the kidneys on your back, which I did not know. Um, so I'm going to start doing that, but in conjunction, I'm also taking this adrenal rebuilder supplement that my naturopath had given me, and that is animal-based as well. Um, but I'm at the point right now where I'm like, I don't really want synthetic, but I, I will take it from the animal. Um, sorry, guys. So um, at this point, but I'm really going to see if these oils will help do something with my adrenal glands, Okay. And if that works, then, oh my gosh, I'd love to just switch to that and not do any of the animal stuff, right? So the other thing that was interesting was my progesterone was really low, okay? So when back in May when I took my test, uh, my progesterone was 12.79. And my, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the normal range. I don't have the normal range um, because I'm on my but mine was very low okay so it was 12.79 okay and i thought i had that in here oh yeah here we go um no that's not it. sorry guys um mine actually did increase okay so i just went back and got the new blood work done and mine actually did come up from 12.79 it came up to 17.07 okay and i think you want it closer um to the 20s is where the ideal number where you want your progesterone what have I been using, you guys? Super easy. It's Progestins Plus. This stuff, you guys, is awesome. It's so awesome. It's totally plant-based. Um, it has the wild yam extract in it, which is um, like a phytoprogesterone. Um, 60 to 70% of what we put on our skin gets absorbed into our body. That's how easy this is. You literally, um, I take two drops. So I'll do two drops and I'll apply it to my forearms. Where am I? There we go. So I'll apply two drops onto that forearm. I'll do two drops onto this forearm. Maybe that was three. And then I'll do two drops on my neck, okay? I do that twice a day. You guys, I'm stoked on that. My progesterone level totally came up. Um, five NG per milliliter. I don't know what that stands for. So I'm stoked on that, you guys. This is like a blend of the wild yam extract, but it also has essential oils in it. So it's got um, bergamot. You hear my kitty cat? <laughs> really it's got cedar wood in it it's got um where is it franken sacred frankincense it's got um uh, balsam fir resin in it and bergamot peppermint and again of course the uh usp grade progesterone extract from wild yam so this has totally brought my progesterone level up so i'm really stoked on that so that's kind of what I'm working on right now. So what have I noticed? Like I've totally noticed an increase in energy. So um, I don't feel like I have to take a nap in the middle of the day. Um, I can stay up later. I've been staying up past 11. I can actually work now after my kids go to bed. Um, and I'm just also feeling like I'm not losing as much hair. I, you can see all these flyaways. All of it's starting to like grow back. Wow, I'm totally backwards on this camera, you guys. Um, and what else? 
I am not getting headaches. I'm not getting any of those migraine headaches anymore, you guys, which is phenomenal. I mean, that I really empathize for people who struggle with like chronic illness and I really empathize with you guys because it was debilitating and it's, it's a terrible feeling when you, you know, can't do anything about it. So anyways, that is what I've been doing, you guys. And um, I'm hoping that I'm going to notice a change with my cold tolerance. That's also associated with like the thyroid, um, coarse hair, hair loss, uh, what else? Fatigue, weakness, dry skin, and temperature. So now I'm starting to do like a temperature regulation thing as well, where I'm monitoring my temperature. Um, and then at specific times, I might have to, at that point, use the thyromin at that specific time when the temperature is low. Okay. So really neat stuff, you guys. And I just wanted to share my blood results with you guys. I'm going to probably go back and get tested here pretty soon. I'll see if the upping the thyromin dose has made a difference and I'm still on the progesterone, um, and then the adrenal support for my cortisol level. So that's about it. You guys, if you have not gotten your blood test, I highly recommend you do it. I mean, it's definitely a snip snapshot of that, like one moment in time when you're actually getting the blood drawn, but, um, it really does shed light, especially if you have any type of signs that you're experiencing or symptoms that you're experiencing, don't ignore it. You know, go get, go talk to somebody and see, it could be a super simple fix. My naturopath also said, you know, if this does perpetuate or if it did, if I did let it go and perpetuate, um, it could actually evolve into like a chronic condition. So it's a good thing. You want to get in there early, early and often, right? So you can treat it and um, hopefully holistically like this. So thanks you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. Bye, you guys. Hey, Melody. Hey, Lyle. Hey, Mom.